your sign and the different languages? Yes, I, um, this is originally, I, I took it from Bethlehem, which is a human, a Israeli human rights organization. They uh, publish uh, on their uh, Instagram page uh, a sign with uh, saying stop in Yiddish, stop in, in, in English and in uh, Arabic. Uh, with, you know, behind uh, with a picture of destruction in Gaza. And so I, I, took, I took it the idea from there and I add Spanish because I'm a Spanish speaker and I added also uh, French. And, um, and, you know, I took pictures from everywhere in the, you know, uh, like I, I, of, uh, I of Palestine and uh, Middle East Eye and Al Jazeera and different medias uh, that are showing what is going on in Gaza right now. Uh, we are going these pictures, this is extremely painful, and I, I want people to confront uh, this painful reality. This is what we are doing, and, and the, the U.S. Congress voted again and again, sending uh, weapons, you know, uh, violating the legal laws and in, uh, international humanitarian and human rights laws. We are all vulnerable when they do, when we don't uphold uh, human rights laws around the world. Are we making any progress? Uh, the Congress keeps, as you say, keeps sending money, a river of money to Israel. The only way to, to end with violence is to stop sending the fire. And so there is no other way to, for, you know, to, to do an arms embargo right now. Uh, and, and, you know, not uh, Harris, not Biden, not the U.S. Congress, uh, any, any, you know, either uh, uh, party uh, is doing anything uh, towards that, that, uh, you know, part of unfortunately. But we need to, you know, we need to raise awareness, we need to change the narrative. It's not okay to, uh, or it's not, it's hypocritical to be against a right-wing government here in the U.S. and supporting a right-wing government, extremist right-wing government outside the U.S. It doesn't matter which country is it.